गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ विदाउट वेस्टिंग फर्दर मोमेंट लेट एस स्टार्ट आर स्टडीज वेरी सीरियसली टूडे आई वुड लाइक यू ऑल टू हैव अ लुक इन टू योर साइंस टेक्स बुक्स I hope each one of you must be having your text. If you are not having, I have already shown you the link over here from where you can get the textbooks downloaded. I would also send the link through the WhatsApp. Now, in science, we'll start with the very first chapter, which is chemical reactions. and uh, equations standard 9th if you remember we have already come across this chapter fair part of the work has been discussed in 9th let us quickly revise those topics you have already learned about the structure of an atom in which there is definite rule regarding the arrangement of mm -hmm. electrons in the orbit because as you know it is these electrons in the orbit which governs the properties both chemical and physical properties of an element so when and you also also come across there are various elements in the periodic table so in this chapter you will be coming across what actually a chemical reaction is and the various different types of chemical reactions now you uh, show it symbolically by an equation moving into the reactions now since you are sitting free around you must have observed if you have kept your eyes open you must have watched or you must have sensed various changes around these changes can broadly be categorized into two categories one is physical the other is chemical what is the basic difference between physical and chemical change well physical is not reversible whereas chemical some of the chemical reactions are reversible you have come across these changes last year but still to elaborate a bit more into it for example ice if you heat it changes into water and still further if you supply heat it will vaporize here what does not change is the chemical constitution in all the three cases h2o in ice h2o in liquid form h2o in gaseous form so the change is only in the state of the matter chemically all the three forms are water h2o where two hydrogen and one oxygen atom join together combine together to form a molecule of water so that's the same in all the three cases similar physical change if you want to discuss it would be the changes for example you have evaporation that's a natural phenomenon which you find in the nature am i right water evaporates the melting of wax there also is a change from the solid form into 
liquid form. But uh, along with this, what are the chemical changes? Chemical change means there is change in the chemical nature itself. If you supply water through water electric current, then it will split into hydrogen and oxygen ion. Am I right? So, this change, one is negative, the other one will be positive. This change where the water splits, you also call it as hydrolysis or electrolysis of water, where the water splits into hydrogen and oxygen, that is respective components, respective elements of which it is made up of. This change is said to be a chemical change. Similar numerous chemical changes you find around in nature. Respiration itself is a chemical change. Wherein the food molecule which you are consumed, basically you designate it as glucose. That has to be broken down which takes place in presence of oxygen. And final form, carbon dioxide and water is given out. This is a rough expression of respiration. Food in the food in the form of glucose in the cell is aerobically broken down into final constituents carbon dioxide, water and energy. So that would be a chemical change. Similar chemical changes say milk if you allow it to rest what will it become? Overnight, if you allow it to remain, it would change into curd. What is the chemical? What is the chemistry over here? Lactose, which is a sugar in milk that imparts sweetness, converts into lactic acid. That is why the curd is sour, milk is sweet. Total change in the chemistry of the components. Got it? Now if you again go back to the physical change. If I want water from vapor, I have to just reduce the temperature. If I want the water to be converted into ice, again reduction of the, if you reduce the temperature, if you freeze it, it will become ice. Which means I can reverse the process and obtain the original state. In chemical nature you find that most chemical reactions are irreversible wherein you cannot get back from curd. Can you ever dream of getting back the milk? Impossible. Am I right? But so in chemical reactions you can see there are uh, further two categories reversible and irreversible. Reversible chemical reactions and irreversible chemical reactions. Reversible chemical reaction, if you want to have an example, it would be ammonia, preparation of ammonia. Okay. For reversible, you use a double headed arrow. This is how you symbolize it. This is called double headed arrow. Ammonia is formed from nitrogen and hydrogen. So, from ammonia, ammonia can disassoci disassociate into nitrogen and hydrogen. Whereas, nitrogen and hydrogen, if they are not removed periodically, then they will recombine to form ammonia gas again. But of course, there are certain conditions which are required. So it's very simple way I am explaining what the reversible reaction is about. With irreversible, you can take the previous example which I have put up, milk turning into curd or say rusting of iron. You know iron, we periodically in our homes we get 
the iron materials or iron uh, parts painted oiled or greased why do you do so yes to prevent corrosion corrosion is nothing but again a chemical reaction a reaction which is irreversible where the iron undergoes reaction with oxygen and forms rust that is an oxide layer you can just scrub it off but from that oxide layer or from that rust you cannot get back the iron again irreversible but both reversible and irreversible types of reactions are under the category of chemical changes because there is a chemical nature which is being altered got it so this is about any reactions which you find around in the nature can have two different changes physical change and chemical change so can you recollect last year you had few questions in the exercise section of the textbook itself you had objectives wherein reactions are given and you were supposed to identify whether it is a physical change or a chemical change let me put up a few cutting down of the tree what change is it yeah it would be a physical change because the tree you just cut it off that's all but at the same time if you burn the log of wood then what change would it be it would be a chemical change so understood those were the questions which we had already done in standard 9th so physical and chemical changes are part of chemical reactions so now the major question is main question is what actually is a chemical reaction if a chemical reaction is to be defined then it would be where one or more than one substance now when i say substance it can be an element also that means two elements coming together it can be compound one element and the other compound or maybe two compounds together so in general i'll just put it up as substance when one or more substance or more technically to say reactant so if i want to show it it will be reactant 1 plus reactant Two will give you a product. The product may be one or more than one. So a chemical reaction is a change wherein one or more than one substance, that is an element or a compound, may react together, may come together chemically, and form a product which will have an entirely new. property so how will you show it the chemical reaction how are you how are you going to show it now for example say sodium sodium plus water will form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen the sodium is in a solid state water in liquid state sodium hydroxide in aqueous and hydrogen in gaseous state here you put an upward arrow this indicates a chemical equation reactant 1 reactant 2 giving product 1 product 2 this arrow shows the reaction is proceeding towards the short forms which are written in the brackets indicate the state of matter solid reacting with the liquid state forming an aqueous condition and gaseous form now the most important thing in the chemical equation is yeah and this upward arrow what does it indicate 
that it's a liberation release release of hydrogen gas so the most important thing in this particular chemical reaction is that the number of atoms should be balanced on either side remember we learned about balancing last year okay so balancing of the equation is very important to be kept in mind just a very quick look into this balancing part how do you simply by if i want to put put a balancing in a very simple form sodium one atom sodium one oxygen one oxygen one hydrogen two over here here it is one and two so there will be total three am i right so this is not a balanced equation am i right so how do you balance it you will have to if i put a 2 over here then the number of hydrogen becomes 4 that can be adjusted by putting a 2 over here so 2 hydrogen and 2 hydrogen becomes 4 and hence what gets disturbed the sodium gets disturbed am i right so you balance it by putting a 2 over here 2 sodium 4 hydrogen over here 4 hydrogen on this side 2 oxygen and 2 oxygen so now this is the final balance form no need to worry if you are not followed it just now because i'll take a balancing again in the next class this is to give you an idea what a chemical reaction is about how do you show it in a chemical form so chemical equation is designated in this form where in reactant 1 plus reactant 2 giving product 1 and product 2 it's not necessary always there should be two products they may be one product or more than one product so as i told you, you know this chapter has different types of chemical reactions so as you move into details about those you will understand it better for the initial class for the first class i think this much is more than enough so why don't you revise the entire thing what we have done today is chapter is chemical reactions and equations we have tried to revise what we had done in standard 9th in that we have come across changes which are both physical and chemical physical change example will be ice changing into water vapor by change in temperature and you can also reverse the process but chemical change is where the chemical nature changes these changes may be reversible or irreversible i have given examples of each okay so in a chemical change there will be a change in the chemical chemical nature of the entire part then what is a chemical equation and i gave you an example of a chemical equation so just go through all this uh, first you download the textbook open up chapter 1 and try to find out how much i have taught you okay so stay safe stay healthy thank you